Hello, I'm Adam Tomlinson and welcome back to the hy Buzz podcast show. This week, I'm joined by a very special guest, former hy David Zitelli, who chats to us about his time with the club, his relationship with Frank Sorzy, and of course, that overhead kick. An attacker that could create something out of nothing, David joined Hibs in 2000 and established himself as a real fan's favourite as he made 64 appearances and scored 13 goals. Joining us from his home in France, I'm delighted to say that David is with us now. David, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hello, everybody. Thank you for for joining us on uh, the High B Buzz. I think it's been just over two decades since you played for Hibs. Does it feel like that long? I, it was a great moment for me. It, uh, it was the, at the end of my career, and uh, I decided to come to play uh, for Hibs uh, uh, because my friend was playing for uh, for Hibs. Uh, Franck was a uh, year before, one year before me, uh, not two years before me, and uh, I decided to come uh, to see him uh, for a weekend and. Um, I saw uh, Ips game. I, I met um, Alex McLeish, and uh, he, de- he decided uh, to to bring me back to um, to Edinburgh to play for Ips. It was a good, very good moment for me. When you came to Edinburgh, did you immediately fall in love with the city and with the football club? Definitely, definitely. I, I love this country. I love the Scottish people. I love Edinburgh and uh, I love hips definitely. I uh, I like it uh, the atmosphere and uh, the the crowd and um, the, the Scottish football. How much or what did Frank tell you then before you signed for Hibs about the club, the fans? He just told me, uh, come. Come here and you will you will see. And uh, I I came uh, just uh, for a weekend and uh, I saw and uh, I decided to come. Uh, that's all. <laughs> How much did you know about Hibs before you came for that weekend? I never heard about Hibs. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, it was the first time <laughs> I uh, I came to to um, Easter Road and. Um, I, I I like the stadium and uh, the atmosphere. It was very nice. Did it did it help when you signed for Hibs that that Frank was there? Did it make it easier? Yeah, definitely. Uh, because my English was very bad, like like now. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, so. He, he speak uh, very well English, and what easier for me to to adapt. And um, he he, uh, he was we were uh, always together. Um, and um, explain um, Scottish football, uh, the atmosphere, the mentalities, and uh, it was easier for me to to adapt, adapt it. Did you find Scottish football very different to to playing in France? Yeah, uh, a little bit different. Uh, it's, it's not the same, and um, it was not easy for me to uh, to adapt during uh, uh, um, a couple of uh, games. But after, uh, um, I was lucky because uh, I used to play in a, a very good team with good players. And uh, uh, Alex McLeish uh, was a great trainer, I, and he would like to, he, 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 he decided to 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 play with uh, their idea. With uh, and uh, um, he 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 wanted that we play good football, and uh, it was easier for me. Yeah. How how much did you enjoy life in Scotland away from football as well? Did you get much time to look around the country? Yeah, definitely. It's a beautiful country. Um, I was really lucky to 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 came to Edinburgh and to to discover Scotland. Um, and it's it's a beautiful country. Uh, there are a lot of uh, countryside, beautiful countryside, and. Uh, um, I used to live in a beautiful house near uh, Arthur Seat. I was really lucky. <laughs> Let's talk about your time at Hibs then. Um, your first year was a really successful one, wasn't it? We finished third in the league and got into the Scottish Cup final, albeit we were beaten in that by a very good Celtic side. It was really good time. Uh, 
Uh, I, I told you uh, I was lucky to play uh, in a really good team with good players. It was easier uh, to 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 produce good football, and uh, we had a really good result you know, this this season. What was Alex McLeish like as a manager, and what what did he want from you? He um, he was. Um, he was very um, demanding, demanding coach, uh, very uh, aggressive. And uh, when we not played really well, he was really um, angry. And uh, yeah, he is like like that. Uh, his his, uh, his mentality and uh, he's very he, he likes perfection. And um, um, for for us, it was uh, it it was. Um, it was difficult because uh, it's, Scottish football is very, really hard, very strong players, and it's difficult to play uh, good football. And um, but we did, uh, I think, we did really well this season, the first season. And you played with a, a lot of talented players as well. Obviously, you mentioned Frank before, but uh, Russell, Latapi, and Mixu as well, just to name a couple. Definitely, and John O'Neill. John O'Neill was uh, the, uh, uh, a god for me. Uh, you know, a Scottish god. <laughs> <laughs> like I like him very much. Nice guy. What did he do? How did he help you on and off the pitch? He was he was a a, a great player, a good technical player, and. Uh, uh, really great mentality, and uh, for for me it was easier to um, to adapt it in, in this team. What was that team like? What was the spirit like in that team? If if uh, if you are a manager, uh, you have to to uh, to have in your team good players. But if they don't have good mentality, it's not possible to have a, a good team. For me, it's really important to have a good mental mentality, and. The manager was the same mentality. If if you want to that uh, to have the respect of your player, you have to respect them. And Alex was was like that. He was really out for some some time, but he was a nice 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 manager. If you look back at at your time at Hibs, there's there's so much to to talk about and discuss. But for you, what was your best? moment or a moment that will always stick there in your head oh, um, two moments when i scored against the uh, rangers we we won one zero i scored the goal and um after um after the the derby against arts um i was lucky because my parents uh, came to visit me and uh, they saw uh, they saw the game and after the game, uh, when I, I came back home with my parents, and uh, the crowd uh, stopped my car, and uh, I, uh, I opened my door, uh, my 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 car door, door, door and uh, they um, uh, they sing they sing a song uh, for me, uh, and well, I I was really really happy, and my parents too, very proud. Yeah, I bet that was a really special moment for yeah. your parents. Do, do they still talk about still talk about that? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, unfortunately, I lost my my father, but my my mother speak. Uh, um, when I, I I told her uh, uh, I came back to um, to Edinburgh and, and uh, uh, we spoke about this moment. Uh, it's so so special. Talk to us um, about that Hearts game then, because obviously a six two win. One that supporters still talk about and and still remember. What was that like for you? It's a great moment, great football moment for me, a special moment because um, uh, I, I knew the the derby was a, a very important game, but not like that. Uh, it's it's really a really strong game, and unfortunately uh, we lost one 0 after uh, a few minutes. And uh, but. Anyway, when you have a great player on your team, a great mentality, it's 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 not a problem. Uh, and we decided to play and to score uh, uh, a lot of goals, and uh, it was a really good in my mind. How did the atmosphere in that game compare to any atmosphere that you've ever played in in front of before? 
Fantastic, totally different. And uh, I never imagined it, it was like that in uh, Edinburgh, you know. Uh, in France, we, uh, I, I, play, I played a lot of derbies, but anyway, never like, like that. Yeah, and you mentioned the Rangers game as well. You scoring the winning goal, winning 1-0. Talk to us about that game and why that was so special for you as well. Uh, it, 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 it was important for me because uh, it was not a long time I, I was uh, playing for Hips and uh, we we started well and it was important for, for us to, to win this game, to, to stay at the same level as Rangers and Celtic and then to score against the uh, old, old film. It's, 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 uh, it's important and uh, I'm, I was really proud. Yeah. Now there's one moment that I thought you'd say, which would be the overhead kick that you scored against against Dundee. Yeah, it's a special, 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 special goal, definitely. Uh, I I um, I was lucky because in France I scored uh, two two goals like that, but it was it was not the first time for me. But anyway, it's it's totally a special a special goal. Yeah, you can you can't explain that because it's, it's going too fast, and uh, you have to um, to do your um, your um, your um, your shoot very fast, fastly. Had you scored those two goals in France before? You'd scored the goal against Dundee. What what comes yeah. into your mind when yeah. you think, "Oh, this is an opportunity to do an overhead kick." It's it's you have to you don't have to to have a reflection a long reflection because it's it's going too fast and um, I used to to do that uh, to do that during the training session um, uh, in France I like it to to work that uh, uh, very often and when you have the opportunity during game it's like a uh, training like uh, you you have to 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 try and uh, fortunately it was a a good a good uh, a good uh, goal. Yeah. yeah, a really, really special goal. And um, another goal that you scored um, that is fondly remembered by Hibs fans, albeit we didn't progress in the competition, um, was the one against AEK Athens in Europe as well. Obviously, we won the game on the night, but went out on aggregate. What was that like playing European football with Hibs? It's important for uh, every, each team. It's important to uh, to have the opportunity to play in uh, UEFA Cup or in Champions League, and uh, it's important for the player. The atmosphere it's really different. You, you travel, you you discover uh, uh, other countries and other footballs. And uh, for a, a player and for a, a team, for a, a club, it's important to to have the opportunity to play in uh, UEFA Cup and in Champions League if you have a. The opportunity. What what was that Athens game like? Obviously, we were two 0 down uh, after the first leg. Then two 0 at home went into to extra time. What was the feeling on the pitch and and, and around the club? Now, at the, the first game was the second game in Athens or at, uh, at Easter Road. At Easter Road. Uh, um, uh, first of all, it, it was uh, important to uh, to score very quickly uh, for this game. We had a lot of opportunities in Athens to score, but we we missed a lot of uh, occasion. And uh, it was Paco Paco Luna scored uh, one or two goals. I don't remember. I think it was two. And yeah, and unfortunately, we um, uh, Athens scored um, two goals too, and um, it was. After uh, two, when you you, um, you consist two two goal at home, it's difficult to to qualify um, the team, and um, we try um, we try our best until the end of the game, and um, unfortunately, uh, we we lost the, the opposition. What was the feeling after that game? Because I think Hibs fans were really proud of the. The effort that the team put in to to take it to extra time. But we we were sad because uh, we missed a good opportunity to qualify. Uh, it, it was possible uh, during this game to uh, to qualify Ips uh, for the, the next round. But uh, anyway, uh, we we tried and uh, we, we did 
all, all, all the we we could, and unfortunately, it was not enough. It's football. Absolutely. And then, obviously, later on in that season, Alex McLeish left, um, and Frank Sorzi took over as manager, your good friend. What was that like? It was a really special uh, situation uh, because um, Alex McLeish was the boss, and uh, he, it was uh, he decided all he dis- decided all, all at this time, and uh, it was really special when uh, very difficult when he he left uh, the team uh, Ips for uh, Rangers, and. Um, um, the, the the club uh, gives the opportunity to to Frank to to uh, to be manager, and and, um, and for me it was it, it was a a special situation too because Frank was not a manager, he was he was player, um, and um, and it he, he was um, it it was very really difficult for him because. Um, it's difficult to to be a, a player and to be a manager one week uh, after. Uh, it, it it was a special situation for for him. And then obviously his time at the club ended probably sooner than than everyone thought it might do. What what was that like um, as a player? We spoke before to to Grant Brebno, who said the fe- the players felt like or they wished they could have done more for Frank. Um, anyway, Frank was uh, really sad about this situation, and uh, it's 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 never uh, it's it's difficult to to explain. Uh, but anyway, uh, Frank did uh, his best. Um, it was it. I'm sure. Uh, um, um, he, he, in my uh, opinion, he he, he was uh, not ready for this uh, this opportunity. It was too quick, and uh, he, if he had this opportunity at the end of this season, I'm uh, I am sure it he, he will he will do the job. Yeah, absolutely. And then obviously, Bobby Williamson came in after him, and your time at Hibs then came to an end in in two thousand and two. I think I saw a lot in the media around. You publicly saying that you didn't want to leave Hibs, but felt like you had to. What what was that situation like? It was a difficult situation, but anyway, it's it's only football, and I I understand the manager. Uh, if 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 I have no, no chance to play, he was an honest with me, and he told me um, I don't need you uh, in the, in this team. I want to um, to build a new team, and uh, we are not on the plane. And I understood the snowman. I'm manager now, and uh, understand uh, uh, his opinion. Yeah, absolutely. And I wanted to talk to you about the uh, Hibernian fans because you mentioned them earlier and singing out outside your car. What what's been your lasting memories of the Hibernian supporters? Uh, it was um, the game against Aten. It was um, it was a really special game because uh, I knew it was uh, one of my last game in uh, Edinburgh and at Tister Road, and uh, it was a big game. And for me, uh, I have a, a good reminder of this moment. Uh, what, were you were you surprised that they took to you so quickly that you became a fan's favorite so fast? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I was really surprised and really proud about that because I was I I'm foreigner and I, I was uh, I was in Edinburgh not uh, a long time. Uh, I stayed in Edinburgh only uh, a few months, and for me, uh, I'm really happy. Um, and it's uh, it's uh, uh, a good thing for me and for my remains when I I will be old. <laughs> When you left Hibs, did you always look back at the results to see how they were getting on? Do you, do you still keep in contact with anyone? Definitely. Not every week. Uh, but um, I uh, I look sometimes uh, at the Scottish football and uh, what Hibs uh, did. And 
it was uh, really important for me to come back and uh, i really proud to to uh, to come back to to Easter Road and to uh, have this uh, this, this uh, atmosphere and, and this hospitality i i'm i'm, I'm really really uh, happy for that yeah i was going to ask how that felt when you brought out the match ball and uh, three other stands were gave you a standing ovation and and were applauding you fantastic uh, for for um, a player uh, and uh, for um, uh, a, a, ma uh, a man who like football is fantastic you know uh, my son uh, was uh, with me uh, in the in the stand and he he, he told me oh it's, it's unbelievable uh, well, the, the atmosphere is fantastic air yeah, he, di he didn't know uh, knew uh, the scottish football now he is looking uh, every, uh, not every game but uh, he is looking uh, very uh, very often uh, the, the games yeah no, that that's fantastic. Um, and I wanted to end this, David, with a little bit of fun. I want you to name your Hibs five-a-side team from the players that, that you played with. Who who would start in goal, first of all? Uh, could you repeat, please? Uh... Of course, yeah. I just wanted to end this with a bit of fun. Who would make a five-a-side team for you, for Hibs? Who, who would be your goalkeeper? Your goalkeeper, uh, Nick Colgan. Yeah, what was what was so special about Nick? Uh, he was really a funny guy. Always uh, um, speaking uh, with uh, with us and really funny, funny, uh, funny guy. Yeah. Who would you who would you have in in defence in your five side team? Um, Gary Smith. Yeah. Yeah, nice, guy, nice guy, nice player. Uh, I like him very much. And in midfield? In midfield, Frank Sosé, <laughs> sure, for sure. And uh, Russell Latapi and, uh, and John O'Neill, captain. Captain John O'Neill. Fantastic. I think that sounds like a, a very good team, David. Um, thank you so much for for speaking to us um it, it's been really good and, and brought it was back a real pleasure thank you very much to you